The Steris VHP X10 Biodecontamination Unit provides effective and economical biodecontamination of A2 biological safety cabinets and other small enclosures. The X10 combines the Steris patented VHP process technology with proprietary hardware to achieve six log bio burden reduction in biological safety cabinets. This innovative VHP system features a short cycle time, allowing decontamination of multiple biological safety cabinets per day. This training video is designed to familiarize users with the components and operation of the VHP X10 biodecontamination unit. Let's look inside both the VHP X10 biodecontamination unit and accessory kit. Both are housed in rugged, secure, and highly transportable cases. The accessory case contains the necessary hardware to connect the X10 unit to a biological safety cabinet. The case includes two hoses, a 5-foot hose that connects to the outlet port of the X10 unit, and a 10-foot hose that connects to the return inlet of the X10 unit. The sash adapter plate and return frame make connection to the biological safety cabinet for decontamination easy. Designed for use on all sizes of A2 biological safety cabinets, the sash adapter and return frame can be adjusted for easy installation. Additionally, there are two camlock tank adapters and two camlock hose couplings, which allow for a quick connection between the X10 unit and cabinet. Tape and plastic sheeting are also required to seal the biosafety cabinet before biodecontamination. These items are not provided by Steris, but are readily available from hardware or home improvement retailers. Steris recommends a vinyl-based tape that leaves minimal residue behind on surfaces, and 6 mil thick heavy-duty plastic sheeting. We will now review the setup of the X10 unit and biosafety cabinet. Note that the information we are about to present, as well as more troubleshooting tips, are covered in the Steris VHP X10 application guide Assembling the X10 for operation is simple and straightforward. First, install the optional indicators inside the biological safety cabinet. Indicators can be used to show the presence of H2O2 vapor in the cabinet, while biological indicators can be used to confirm 6 log bio burden reduction. Now install the connections to the sash plate and return frame. Install the sash plate in the cabinet sash opening using tape. You may need to raise or lower the sash height depending on the cabinet type. Next, seal the remainder of the sash opening using plastic sheeting and tape. Now install the return frame on top of the cabinet exhaust filter and seal the return frame to the top of the cabinet, again using plastic sheeting and tape. Please note, the operator may need to remove the exhaust filter cover if installed. Additionally, the upper and lower sections of the cabinet should be sealed separately so that air movement between the X10 outlet and inlet ports occur only through the interior of the cabinet. Any leak points on the biological safety cabinet must be sealed using tape. Be sure to give extra attention to common leak points, such as power cords, tubes, and edges of openings on the cabinet. Once these steps are complete and the biological safety cabinet is properly sealed, it's time to connect the X10 unit using the provided hoses. Look for these symbols at both connection points. Connect the shorter 5-foot hose to the sash plate from the X10 outlet connection. Then, connect the 10-foot hose to the return frame from the X10 inlet connection. Take note, before starting the VHP cycle, be sure to follow your facility's fumigation management plan. Install any cautionary signage and, if necessary, Clear the room per the facility plan. After confirming that all safety procedures have been followed, turn the cabinet blower on and power up the X10 unit. If operational, it is recommended that the cabinet blower be left on during the preheating, dehumidification, and decontamination phases of the cycle. If the blower is not working, a longer cycle may be required. Check the Steris VHP X10 application guide for guidance. During the aeration phase, it's recommended that the cabinet blower be turned off as this will minimize required aeration time. Once your safety cabinet is taped and connected to the X10 unit, you are ready to begin the cycle. The X10 control screen will guide you through the cycle selection and startup procedure. 
The X10 unit includes three factory program cycles for different size biological safety cabinets. Select from three to four feet, five to six feet, or extra large cycles. The width of the cabinet will determine cycle selection. The Steris VHP X10 application guide can provide further cycle selection details if needed. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, is required when handling Vaprox hydrogen peroxide sterilant. Before coming in contact with Vaprox product, review the facility's fumigation management plan and the Steris Vaprox safety data sheet. Before using Vaprox, operators are required to complete a free online safety training course offered by Steris. You can sign up for this online course at any time at www.vaproxtraining.com. Remove the Vaprox from the packaging. On screen prompts will inform you when to insert a Vaprox cup. If there is a problem with the cup or its contents, such as expired sterilant, users will be directed to insert a new Vaprox cup. Next, you will also be prompted to load a desiccant cartridge. Do not remove the desiccant cartridge from the sealed pouch until directed to do so by the X10 unit. The user is then prompted to insert an optional USB memory stick, which records cycle data. Check once again that both hose connections are secure and confirm proper biological safety cabinet sealing. The X10 is now ready for biodecontamination. Press the OK button to begin the cycle. Once in cycle, this timer displays the estimated remaining time left in the biodecontamination phase prior to the start of the aeration phase. Additional cycle information can be viewed by pressing the cycle status button, which can be found in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. The LED light on the X10 shows blue when the unit is powered on. The light turns from blue to green when the unit is in the preheating and dehumidification phases. The light then turns to yellow when vaporized hydrogen peroxide is present in the enclosure and all through the aeration phase. It is recommended that while the decontamination is underway, the operator should check for leaks in the cabinet with a handheld H2O2 monitor. If leaks are found, the operator should immediately seal leaks using tape and plastic sheeting. When decontamination is complete, the X10 unit will automatically move to the aeration phase of the cycle. During aeration, the user must periodically use an H2O2 monitor to measure the H2O2 concentration in the cabinet. When the PPM level is at or below safe levels per OSHA standards and the facility's fumigation management plan, usually one PPM, the cycle should be stopped by selecting the circular end cycle button in the lower right-hand section of the control screen. If the user does not end cycle, the X10 will automatically aerate for 12 hours. The timer counts up, showing the elapsed aeration time. Once the cycle has ended after aeration, the operator may begin the teardown process. For use of the operational AR60 external aerator, please review the Steris VHP X10 application guide. Disassembling the VHP X10 unit is an easy and straightforward process. First, disconnect the hoses from the biological safety cabinet and then from the X10 unit. Next, remove the desiccant cartridge from the unit and then remove the Vaprox cup. Use the Vaprox cup disposal tool to properly assist in the disposal of the Vaprox. Users should dilute any remaining peroxide with 20 parts water. Additional disposal details can be found in the Vaprox safety data sheet. The plastic sheeting and tape, along with any tape residue, should be removed. Operators should also remove any chemical or biological indicators that were placed inside the biological safety cabinet at this time. Power down the X10 unit and then remove the power cord. Pack away all components in the accessory case and then disassembly is complete. The Steris VHP X10 Biodecontamination Unit is designed to provide years of reliable service. For questions or information on additional product offerings, please contact your local Steris representative or visit us online at www.steruslifesciences.com.